Hi there, on the other side of the screen. My name is Elijah. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and graphic designer. And I'm also the guy who's responsible for everything you see here uh, from the company. If you don't know what the company is called, it's called 72 Creative Agency. And depending on where you're viewing this, either at the top or at the bottom, there's a link. Click that link, check out our work, see who we are, see what we've done, and see what we can do for you. I just came back from the run. I'm trying to fix what uh, terribly went wrong in winter, but that's besides the point. Uh, the point of me being here is because I want to talk to you about this thing here, this thing that we're creating or rather starting. The show is called Chasing Perspectives simply because I want to explore different ideas, stories, concepts and overall perspectives. For a while now, I felt that things are getting stale and this is also an opportunity for me to bring you guys along so you can see how everything comes together from start to finish. But right now, I need to get to a shoot, so I will see you guys soon. And I'm back. So now that you saw the behind the scenes of the shoot and how that went, let me give you a little more context on this image. The idea for this image, believe it or not, came to me about seven years ago. It was inspired by a song that I heard around the time. It was a really popular song, depending on what type of music you listen to, by a Jamaican artist called Egyptian. The song is called Hold You. It's the typical story about how a man loves a woman and a man wants to do all these different things to a woman because she makes him feel X, Y, and Z. But Download the song, read the lyrics, check it out for yourself. The one thing that really stuck out for me in regards to the song was how it sounded and the images it gave me in my head. In my head, I just saw this beautiful girl that he was potentially singing to walking in a forest with the sun shining behind her and her beauty just radiating through. And that idea stuck with me for a while, all this time. Unfortunately, I'm in South Africa and we have a short supply of Jamaican girls here, if you didn't know. That's until I came across a model, her name is Dose, on Instagram. I was scrolling around and I saw a picture of this beautiful girl with these amazing blonde dreads. And her look was perfect for the shoot that I had banged in the back of my brain all those years ago. In regards to the edit of the shoot, I wasn't trying to do anything spectacular. She's beautiful, the lighting was soft, natural and really diffused so the idea was to really capture what i saw even in the retouching i wasn't really trying to go overboard with the skin really make it all plasticky and whatnot the idea was to really enhance what was already there that was a big element of the shoot was to keep the natural beauty there i wasn't trying to go overboard the only thing i really retouched was just a few pimples a few marks here and there and that was pretty much it that's the end of our first video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're on YouTube, please do subscribe to our channel, as well as please turn on the post notifications. If you're on Instagram, please also turn on the post notifications. My name is Elijah, and I will see you again soon.